Hello everyone, and welcome to my first ever video. I'm The Last Wanderer, and today I'll be showing you a unique trick to make end crystals seemingly invisible. You can use this trick to trap or troll your friends, or for other shenanigans. So if you're ready, let's begin, shall we? Over here, we have what appears to be just an ordinary bill. However, an invisible end crystal has already been placed inside it. This trick not only works in creative, but also in survival. So, you're probably wondering how this works, and it's relatively simple. The end crystal has a cubic hitbox spanning two blocks in every direction. Knowing this, we can actually position the end crystal so that when we place it, it'll be inside other blocks. This allows us to push it through those blocks using a piston. Once pushed, the end crystal will actually be sticking out on the other side of the blocks. We can then hide the end crystal by pushing blocks down onto it. As you can see, the end crystal's hitbox does not stick out from this side, but it does from this side. We can maximize how far out the ender crystal's hitbox can stick without showing by aligning it to three C pickles. Just make sure to break the piston, otherwise it'll pull the end crystal back when it retracts. We can then hide it the same way as before. As you can see, the end crystal's hitbox is sticking out further this time, but the end crystal is still not visible. Unfortunately, this trick does not work with floors or ceilings. Because of the way the end crystal bounces, its model actually becomes visible outside its hitbox at times. A similar problem occurs if we try to align the end crystal on anything smaller than three C pickles. The end crystal will sometimes be shown on the outside of the blocks. And, just like normal end crystals, these end crystals explode when hit with any melee weapon or projectile. One minor bug to keep a note of is that end crystals become immune to snowballs, eggs, and ender pearls at close ranges if you unload the chunks they are in by saving and quitting your world on a single player world or unloading the chunks by moving away in a multiplayer world. Let me demonstrate. As you can see, these three projectiles still cause unloaded and reloaded end crystals to explode if shot from further back. However, close ranges are a problem. Additionally, just like normal end crystals, the hidden ones are always immune to fishing rods, fireworks, and any player whose attack damage is zero due to the weakness effect. Now, I'm going to show you a few ways you can activate these invisible traps yourself. For starters, you could always just, quite literally, activate them yourself. Or, you can let skeletons do the dirty work for you. Or, a third option, which is my favorite by far, is pairing the invisible end crystal trap with the dispenser shooting arrows trap, since most players instinctively dodge the arrows if they see the dispenser. 
One final note is that although this trap isn't very deadly, and is more or less used for trolling, that can be changed by adding some TNT. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. As always, I hope you guys have a great day, and join me next time for my next video, Ravager Minds. Goodbye!